Hello everyone. Welcome to Gym Management Software powered by 13 Design Street. This is our first login screen of this powerful gym management software. You have to input login credentials. Every employee or team member will have separate login ID and password to work with. So let's begin. Let me enter the username that is admin and the password is 12345. Just click on login button. This is our dashboard. Now the dashboard is the one place where you will find all the tasks you have to perform today. You can quickly search for your gym clients by name, number, whatever is available with you on this field. Suppose you enter 98833 or you just enter the client's name or something like that. Final test and you just need to click on this and click on search. After that, admin and gym manager can export reports in MS Excel for almost everything. You see over here, live clients, billing reports, client reports, query reports, pending query reports, employees attendance reports, client attendance, and so on, anniversary reports, expired. You just need to put dates over here from 1st of July to 31st of July and just click on download button and the reports will be in your computer in no time. The next widget is to make your mind of query or walk-in that you and your team needs to follow so that you never miss a chance to make a new client. For example, you see the name of the client over here, number, query, query type, date to follow, 12.30 a.m. is the time to follow and so on. You just need to click on button edit and you can just add a new response or you can delete or you can add it. You can make the pending query to convert it or something close. You can do anything you want to do with this query from just on this button. Following to query, we have reminders for payments, pending payments. You can see the clients whose pending payments are pending and what is the expected amount, when there is subscription is ending, what is the expected date of this particular amount, who is the client representative, what is the contact number and what is the bill number against which payment is pending. Then the renewals of membership. This is a very important part. The software will give you alert 15 days period to the expiry of gym membership of the particular client. Like bill number, customer name, and so on, how many days are left. Then we have absentee software will give you alert for the clients who are not coming to gym regularly based on their attendance marked. Basically, this, this widget works when the client is not attending the gym from past three, four days in, in past seven days, right? So you just can give them a call that so why you are why you are not coming to the game. And then we go above. Now if you see at the right sidebar, you will see the reminder for classes, the classes that are going to happen today. Customer feedback, the new customers to whom you have to call them and ask them, so how's your how's your gym going? and you can thank them you can take their instant feedback now then you have today birthdays or you can have marriage anniversary to wish them and obviously you just click on this button and the software will auto generate sms and shoot them now let's begin using software and feeding data into the software but before anything, we have to make subscriptions of gym membership from here. Subscription types. Just click on this button. Add subscription. You can just add test package. Let's make the duration to be 180 days, 6 months. Charges, let's say 10,500 and just click on add subscription the subscription is added and you can see all existing packages over here subscriptions or packages over here and you can obviously edit them at any instance but these things can be performed by only admin 
let's make it 26,000 from 26,200 and just let's update the situation is updated now you see that annual charges is 26,000 after that you you need you can add your employees employees are basically not all the employees of the gym they are the users of the software let's make one employee say Prabhat and give him the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 and employee type should be the employee obviously and we have the status over here and we just click on add employee Oh, username already exists so anyways we can obviously edit this employee from here and make them inactive if you make them inactive whether they have the username or password they will not be able to log in into the software and use the software and then we have employee salary trainer salary manage trainers let's manage them later on or just simply add a new trainer to the software for example test trainer uh, let's add his contact number to be address address of trainer will go over here status active let's add trainer now the trainer can can't log into the software why we are putting the trainer over here because we will appoint this trainer to one of the client it is not mandatory but this is a add-on feature to the software that you can say if you want a report that okay how many uh, employee how many clients this particular trainer have so you can have a report on that so to maintain that we should have trainer in the software now finally our subscriptions we have subscriptions we have employees we have trainers everything and software now let's just add a new bill add a new bill means let's make a new customer new client to the gym see this is a bill id bill id keeps on auto incrementing we can't you or us we can't control that bill id it will begin from one and it will keep on incrementing in a constant manner then you can have the profile picture of the client it will be integrated with any camera in the world and then we have billing date then we put the membership id it can be anything you want right it's a text field every gym has their own criteria for membership id and it's it's not mandatory right let's add test contact number now make sure the contact number is unique for every client the software works on this field contact number if no bill can have the common contact number right every client will have separate contact number so if if someone is trying to put the same contact number the software will not generate the bill right so let's gender should be mail address address of client profession profession of client goes over here email id email at the rate of client dot com and ever see that let's say they have the anniversary today only and and birthday be today only now this is this is the left column that is full of personal details now if you go to the right column we have date of joining doj that means date of joining suppose i have i have demanded the bill today but i say that okay i will come from 15th of july so obviously my memberships will start from 15th of july not 1st of july subscription i say i am going to have annual package text package that we created from subscription pack types over here few minutes back see when you just click on test package the duration is auto fetched charges are auto fetched expected end date 
what the software has done software has added added 180 days to these to this date 15th of july 2016 right and we say discount should be 500 rupees and you can see the life calculations over here pending amount is 10,000 and I say okay I am paying 5,000 rupees to you now and rest of the 5,000 I will pay next day tomorrow and I say okay it is Saturday and the soft the main thing is over here that software will give you alert on 2nd of july that you have to ask for 5000 rupees from client test so make sure the debt is correct the pending amount is 5000 and the software has auto generated an installment and you can even have two installments or you can have three installments but installment can okay, cannot be zero because you have some pending amount over here and I say I am going to pay you through, through credit card so you can save last four digits of my credit card client representative and you want to appoint me test trainer it is not mandatory but obviously you can remarks he is patient of heart disease reference reference is a very powerful field suppose one of your existing client has referred this client test so you can associate these two clients by you say Sanchit Sanchit Mr. Sanchit has referred us the client test and you can save over here so our bill is almost ready and we just need to click submit The bill is inserted now. You can see that we have generated the bill successfully and you can click on print bill. It will give you a bill in uh, print format in PDF format. You can even print, get a print out of it or you can uh, mail it to your client whatever you want. Now you will see test client in your clients page its subscriptions everything is in front of you and even the, it is it has added to the total collection of today final test down payment 19,000 test down payment this is one 5,000 rupees and the total collection of today is 37,040 rupees and it has added to the new customers and now what what if I pay you with a rest of 5000 rupees today so you all you need to go is to just go to the client search for the client test this one and you just click on bill open it up and okay you say he has paid on first and you will pay so if i have paid you today only on the 7th 7th uh, first july 2016 you just mark it paid the amount is 5000 and you just click on update bill Bill record updated now you see the collection has incremented by 5000 rupees obviously and the amount left is zero now even you can have the details over here of the client everything on one book one page clients referred by him his personal profile his measurements height weight neck shoulder chest extended anything you can add all the things over here details his remark you can see that feedbacks submissions classes 
personal training packages, membership free report, installment status, and you see the bill ID number is 80 and installment is 5000 and date is 1st of July 2016 and the state is paid. Complaints, attendance, everything is on one page. And if you see, if you remember, we have been referred by client Sachit, right? And if you click on details, you can see his referred clients 2016, 1st July, test. And you, when you click on it, you will see the bill of that referred client. So, this is all about, all about our billing. Now, we move to the query section. It's a very simple and very easy to understand. You can add a query test final video contact number nine triple eight double three five one five three query annual membership for mail date to follow should be like okay. I say you can ask me in the today only date of trial I will come on trial for Monday and you can call me around about 9 a.m. in the morning query drive is hot and the state is pending we have to keep it pending because if you make it done the software will not give you alert for following up the client we have to keep it pending if you make it convert it means that this client has been turned into your client and you don't need to follow but now for now we have to follow him we click on the status to be pending response he likes the engine and we add the query we have generated the query and you will be able to see on the dashboard now we come to the dashboard and you will see test final video and we have to follow him from here and you see today client's birthday today client's marriage anniversary and if you remember when we have been billing the test client we have inserted the marriage anniversary of today and birthday to be today only now back to the topic if we have called test final video again for following up on 1st of July itself so just click on edit He has joined another gym. Now, obviously, he has joined another gym, so we don't need to follow him, but we have to keep his record. So, just click it uh, done and click it update. So, this is it. Now, software will not give you the alert for following up final test video. So this is removed from here. Thank you very much.